Hi, my name is Greg Stokes. I'm a personal injury attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to be talking about the six favorite defenses you will hear it in adjusters make to defeat your claim. The first most common is the adjuster will say the individual could have avoided the accident. Well, most accidents happen because the other party is negligent. They failed to make a, a, a safe turn. Say they turn left in front of you and then all of a sudden uh, you hit them. Uh, many times the adjuster is going to say, well, if you were going slower, you could have avoided the accident. That defense really never flies and, and should never be accept, accepted at face value as a legitimate argument. Another thing that we see very often is on the police report, there's no complaints of injury. Well, most people, when they're hurt, at an accident site, if they're not taken by ambulance, the police officer does not record the injury. That doesn't mean the person wasn't hurt. Nine times out of ten, that person will, if their car is drivable, they'll take their own car and drive to the emergency and be treated at the scene. So that, that argument doesn't fly either. Here's an argument that, that actually works, though, for the insurance company with juries. There was a delay in treatment. I, if there's one bit of advice I can give you, if you're hurt in an accident, make sure you go to the emergency room the same day. Get treated for your, your injuries. If you put it off and you wait a few days and you suffer through it and you feel miserable and then you go to the hospital, that insurance company is going to say, oh, it must have been something else that caused your injury. And unfortunately, that argument holds some weight with people on a jury. The next one, and I see this constantly, if you're in pain and you're, you're treating with a doctor, um, let him know what your problems are. Uh, tell him about the pain that you're having. He will document that in, in his records. What happens with injury cases is many injuries are chronic. They grow worse over time. And there should be a track record from the hospital to the doctor to the point of many times having surgery where the person is in a continual amount of pain. Don't be a hero. Don't tough it out. Don't fail to say what your pain is. The doctor is the specialist. He will look at you. He will determine what your problem is, but you have to be forthcoming about your injury and, and how you're, you're suffering from it. The fifth biggest argument you'll ever hear is this is a pre-existing injury or this person had an injury like this before. Granted, after you've been around for a while, you may have hurt yourself, but most of the time you've recovered from those injuries. And just because you might be in another accident or some accident that causes you a problem similar to the problem that you had in the past, under the law, you are entitled to recover for an aggravation of a pre-existing injury. The last problem, I'm not sure I have an answer for, and that is where you have another accident. You have accident number one, and then you have accident number two. And then it becomes very, very difficult to sort out what's related to number one and what's related to number two. My, my approach to that is if you've been in more than one accident and you're treating with a physician, stay with the same physician. Report the first accident to him, let him treat you. If you're involved in a second accident, let him treat you for that and make sure you tell him about that accident as well. And then the lawyers and the doctors We'll sort out what's related to what. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you need a lawyer, you'd like to talk, we're here to help. We want to concentrate on your problem. Our number is 1-800-700-5050. Have a great day.